Hi YouTube, Bobby here with Madness Labs. This this last cast did uh, didn't go great. Didn't go great. Uh, we covered interfaces and extending interfaces and watching me squirm as I mess things up. But that's okay. That's what the Madness Casts are about. But today we are going to be covering <laughs> interfaces and typings and TypeScript. Again, except this time in our new series called Madness Bits. And these Madness Bits are going to be shortened videos that are more concise, more to the point. Um, and that way, our Madness Cast can continue to be kind of explorative like they have been. Um, so, on the Madness Cast, it's okay. We can mess up. We can have a bunch of problems. Um, this last one, we were just super excited. We just solved all of our typings problems and like super like amazing results that we've been having on this other project we've been working on but we didn't take enough time to kind of flesh it out and make sure that we weren't going to run into problems as we were showing it off to everyone um so we've learned our lesson there but we did want to revisit it and uh and show you guys that like one we don't want to take the video down like it it's great it's good content there was still some good stuff in there um two it's it's just that's part of the field that's part of how this works we we try things we we fuck up a lot and uh and that's just that's the nature of the beast so without any further ado i am going to get in and we're going to do typings right this time guys okay Here you'll see we have a standard, the uh, Madness Cast component that we worked on in episode nine, I believe, nine. Um, and one of the problems that we had, again, was that, let's put the string back in. One of the problems that we had is that allow is not an attribute on, um, on our iframe. So this is something that YouTube has that is specific to their iframe code that they give you. So this isn't included inside of JSX um, or the typings that Stencil has put together. So what we can do is we can actually extend one of their interfaces uh, and then that way we can actually add these attributes on. It's very rare when you have to do this, but again, this is a very helpful thing. Um, so, so here at the top, um, let's go ahead and declare a global. So when you declare global, these are the these are the things that are globally available inside of your uh, inside of like your uh, your like build that's being watched. So like TypeScript compiler has access to all the things under global. So that's why when you come in here under like your episode, for instance, uh, you can type in JSX and you'll see that you automatically get access to the JSX typings um, that Sentinel has uh, wonderfully included for you. So. So in that same way, we can extend the global stuff that's given to us. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And you can see here that if we highlight over an element, we're actually going to get the typings that are used. So we can see here that like JSX intrinsic elements iframe is the typings that this specific element is using. And what's cool is in uh, VS Code, what you can do is hold control and then you can click on that guy and it'll actually open up the typings file. Um, and you also might notice that I have like a million size font and that's because we got feedback that people would like to watch these more on mobile. So um, I've gone about shrinking my, my, my mug and uh, I've got a lot bigger font size. So for you guys watch on mobile, hopefully that's at least readable. Um, okay, so, so what we need now again is we're going to be extending their already created JSX namespace uh, and this interface in, uh, in specific. Uh, so what we want to, or in particular, not in, in specifically, I'm super smart. Um, okay, so, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we need to kind of set up, just like I was doing on the Madness cast, uh, we need to set up the namespace that we're targeting here. So let's namespace to JSX. And then what we're going to need is we're going to need to extend specifically the iframe. Um, and one of the problems that you like might run into is you, you probably just want to say, okay, well, I'm just going to make a new interface, interface, oops, interface. Uh, and then we're going to do intrinsic elements and then we're going to do iframe. No big deal. Um, okay. So now the problem you're going to have here is it says iframe must be set to a type of iframe HTML attributes. And the reason why we're getting that is because they have specifically set here, if you look at their typings, they have specifically set iframe to be this 
JSX elements, uh, iframe attributes typings. So in the TypeScript compiler, when it looks through these, um, if you set a if you set an interface like this, it is expecting you to implement that specific interface. But we can override that. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to override this interface by going in and we're going to say iframe. Uh, actually, no. Instead, we're going to do uh, we're going to edit the JSX elements that implements this. So we're going to say JSX elements iframe. So we need to do a new interface. No, we need to do a new namespace, I believe. Yeah, so we need to do a new namespace. So let's do namespace uh, JSX elements. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say interface uh, I, and we need to get their same exact interface. So we're going to be extending their already existing iframe interface. So we can scroll here until we find iframe HTML attributes. And then now what we can do is we can we can say we can like define our own and stuff like that. Or what we can do, which is probably probably going to be a better result, is we're going to make our own interface here. So let's do interface um, i YouTube tube iframe. And this is going to extend the HTML attributes. And HTML attributes are just the attributes that are kind of like default there. If you notice on the typings here, every attribute that they are, every uh, set of attributes that they have kind of extends the HTML, HTML attributes. So they're kind of the global or like the default things that are accepted by all HTML tags. And then these are the specific things that they're adding on top of them. And that's kind of what we're doing here. We're going to, we're going to take, we're going to extend this HTML attributes. Uh, and then we're going to add on our custom attributes here that we have. Um, and you'll notice that we have a, um, we have a, allow and then allow full screen. And these two options, again, are specific to YouTube's iframe. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and let's go ahead and on our interface, let's add our two things. So allow and allow is going to be a string. Uh, and then we also have allow full screen. And it's going to be a Boolean. Okay. And so what we're going to see is let's get rid of this bad let's get rid of this just start with our interface um, okay so again we need to implement this interface now so we need to like use this interface on our JSX elements rather than the one that they've got set so what we can do is say namespace JSX oops, JSX elements um, and I think actually it's outside. Yeah, it's outside the JSX namespace, which is kind of different. So let's pull this outside. And what we're going to do is we're going to say export interface. And then we need to point out the iframe. This, uh, sorry, this guy, DEF. I, there we go. So we need to say export interface iframe attributes, uh, and we're going to extend our YouTube iframe. I YouTube. Oh, that's probably because I need to pull it outside of JSX as well. Editing is your friend. Okay. I YouTube iframe. Okay, cool. So now you'll see that our errors have gone away. So we've made a custom interface. So interface I YouTube iframe is going to have the two attributes that we need on our iframe. And then we've got a namespace JSX elements. And then we're going to be exporting this interface I HTML frame, uh, high frame HTML attributes. And then we're going to be extending ours. And what that extend does is again, it just takes the stuff that's already defined. And then it's going to just like extend these new attributes on. Um, so, so now you'll see that we don't get those, those errors anymore. And when we save, it compiles out, everything works just fine. Um, so this, this, my friends, this is actually how you go about extending an interface, um, with stencil. Um, and these, again, these are specifically for targeting the attributes 
Um, and what was cool is I actually found this inside of uh, where I found the answer was the components.d.ts file. Um, you can see in here that like every attribute that you make or every component that you make, it does this. Um, you can actually see there's the namespace for JSX elements, and then here's it exporting your interface, and then it's extending the HTML attribute. So the answer was right there in our project the entire time. Um, so that is how you would add on custom attributes onto, uh, or sorry, yes, custom attributes onto an HTML element.